a very wet and cold day today, back into winter, <laughs> and I must admit it hasn't motivated me to carry on with this project as much as I would have liked. I do have some more screws ready to do the last corner. I am wondering if I should try it myself, but I kind of need a dry day. So not today. I came into the Vinny and it's still leaking. Some worrying spots. Seems to still be leaking in one of the corners. It's leaking around the door. Surviving the rain. God, you adorable. Oh, you're wet. Oh, he cheers me up, he does. He's a cutie. I'll admit, learning that Vinny is leaking still so much was a bit of a um, downer for me last night. But, I don't know, it's put things in perspective, I guess. I need to make sure the exterior is properly sealed. I should probably focus on the door too, before progressing too far with the insulation and the lining, etc. And I think I'll carry on sanding too, making the most of access to tools. So, combination of sanding and sealing today, I think. I managed to properly destroy the battery power sander, unfortunately. Seems to be dead. So I'm going back to this electric version, which means I'll need to turn on the generator. I do also want to move the caravan so that the last corner gets the sun so it can dry out faster. Sometimes uh, things just aren't as easy. Hey Joe, being a woman can sometimes be hard. Like I've tried to, um, I've tried to <laughs> pull, pull the caravan closer so it'll go onto the tow ball. <laughs> But I just don't have the strengths. Like Hayden would so easily, so easily just like shift it. But I'm gonna have to start the car, reverse it, like one whole centimeter back. <laughs> what? Just to get on. You think I'm talking to you, do you? Hmm? So close. But it just doesn't move. Better. Yeah, need to lower that more. Am I just having a weak day or is everything harder than it should be? electric sander is so much more powerful than the battery operated sander. Oh, I'm kind of glad to have swapped to this one. Now it's back to lovely sunshine. I want to give this a go myself and try to do the last corner. Get it finished.
my camera ran out of room on the memory card and I couldn't stop because my hands were completely covered in sealant. I've given myself a big old wash, still not quite clean, <laughs> but I've finished the corner, they're all done. There's just two more screws to do at the bottom, very very bottom, but I need Hayden's strength to um, tilt the caravan a bit more for me. Right, let's get straight into it. I'm a little bit sore from yesterday, but keep going. It's a sunny but blustery day. I want, I re really want to finish the sanding today. I have managed to damage this, so this won't stick to it anymore. But I guess it's a good place to stop. I've done I've done all the 120 grit all over. I still, and then I was going to move to the lighter grit. So I guess it's a good place to stop, isn't it? I'm exhausted again. <laughs> Another full on day. I managed to destroy the sander. Luckily Hayden's uh, getting another part on his way back tomorrow. Um, I just then spent the afternoon with a whole lot of sealant trying, trying to fill in as many possible leaks as I can until I ran out of the smaller rivets. It's supposed to rain tomorrow or the day after, so it'll be a good test to see if it's still leaking. A cold start to today, but yesterday was even colder. There was hail, there was thunder and lightning. Oh. <laughs> But that means it's the perfect time now to see where Vinny is leaking. There's some white blobs way over there on those hills. Possibly icy patches, maybe? <laughs> Yay! One take a box. <laughs> and there it is. Hayden's been trying to find his moisture reader in his workshop. It was tucked away somewhere. Wet dog. Wet dog. <laughs> oh, you're so wet, Joe. <laughs> you're so wet. <laughs> hey? Saturated. <laughs> yeah, I know you want pets, but you're very wet. See, it looks damp there. Yep. So, how's the water getting in there? This moisture coming in from either the window or one of those, that strip of metal. Definitely coming in through there. Yeah, it's definitely, it's coming in there. I really had hoped I would have, I sealed that area. Possibly the same thing here. I think looks like some has just come in the window. I had planned to leave the lining in those corners just because it looks so fiddly to do. But I think I'm just going to have to take them out just because both of them have a leak somewhere. <laughs> so it's still leaking in the locker. I had hoped that sealant next to the locker on the outside would have done the job, but no, it's still leaking. Yeah, that's damp too. That's very damp there. 
Unfortunately, it looks like all four corners are still leaking. So maybe try filling that in. Yeah. Because the water will just come down here, surface tension will suck it into there. Oh yeah. And I, I was going to take these out and do it like that. But I ran out of those rivets. And you haven't sealed across the top of that. Oh, I sealed the rivets on the other side. Oh, you know, you got to seal all the way along there. Because at the moment, it's just going... Down and in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that where it's coming through the... It's definitely coming through here because you could see if you pushed the seal on the other side it, there was all this water coming up. <laughs> it's coming in the window. It's this window! It was just streaming down. Absolutely streaming down. There, and there, and a little bit there. It's <laughs> a window. Uh. Both, both windows. Whoa, a bit more came in. So all the windows seem to be leaving in water, although this one seemed to be in a different spot. That, that one was leaking in a different spot to um, where the other leaks have been. So does it seal up the windows? Worth it. How the hell do you do that though? I don't want to have to take it out the rubbers again and do... Because that was not a fun job. No, just open it up and just pour sealant in there. Yeah. And then stick it back together. That was a good test. I just want to ignore that problem this morning and have some warming crumpets instead. <laughs>